Hi all, welcome to LinuxNext.com YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to install CentOS, which is a flavor of Red Hat. You can see it's exact replica of Red Hat. Only the difference is the logo. Red Hat uses its own logo, but CentOS it uses its own logo. Uh, the name itself indicates it's a community enterprise operating system. Nothing but it's an enterprise operating system developed by a community, not like uh, how Red Hat is developed by a single company. So let us start with uh, installing uh, CentOS. Once you install CD-ROM, uh, CentOS CD-ROM, you can see four options here. One is install or upgrade, which will be useful for you when you want to upgrade uh, already an existing uh, OS, a Linux OS. The second one is to do a fresh installation through GUI mode. The third one is to rescue your system uh, so that if it is corrupted, we can rescue it uh, by going into this mode. Then uh, you, you want to cancel the installation and uh, just uh, boot into your local drive, nothing but your hard disk or disk. You can use the fourth option. So for uh, our uh, uh, like today's class, we'll see how to install uh, CentOS through GUI. So click on the second option. And one more thing, if you see when I move up and down arrows, you can see a letter is highlighted. So uh, you can give Alt uh, R to rescue to go into rescue mode, Alt B into uh, like uh, installing a uh, uh, through video. So uh, that's how it works. Like uh, you no need to use your up and down arrows. That's it. So let us start by clicking uh, this option. So if you see VM Linux is uh, Linux kernel, it's just unpacking onto the RAM and then the second one you see is uh, init RDMS. It also unpacks and uh, it'll these two things will load uh, everything required uh, for your installation. Now hardware is initializing. Yeah, if you see, uh, you can see uh, here uh, different uh, information like uh, sometimes your CD may be corrupted so at the time you can use check my CD before installation so that it will not be middle, it will not stop anywhere. But I know my CD is in brand new one so I'll just say skip. I don't want to check any uh, errors on the are there on my uh, Discord not. So I'll skip it. Now uh, if you see, <coughs> uh, Anaconda is uh, one uh, uh, like a uh, uh, installer uh, which is written in python so it will take care of this installation process actually so let us start with uh, uh, one minute yeah let us start with the installation say next and i'll go with english uh, itself in the installation process uh, then again use english as my keyboard y you can select two things one is basic storage the other one is specialized uh, storage devices the basic uh, storage is nothing but which is local to your uh, system the second one is it's similar to your uh, uh, storage on a NAS box or NAS file or open file or uh, uh, sandbox so uh, if you want to install your OS on a different uh, hardware I mean on a different device which is not local to this machine but communicated through network or something so uh, for this one uh, we'll select the basic installation itself uh, basic storage device itself and say next and if you see as it is a brand new OS, a brand new hard disk I don't want to mess up the I mean um, you don't need to worry about the things like uh, it's going to format it like that it will say I'll just say yes discard uh, any data you can uh, say, uh, mention in that way so you can give the system name here uh, www is my system name say next you can select the default uh, time which fi which is uh, feasible for you or which is uh, local to your time you can select that one and then again uh, a password for uh, root user add it 
so now you can select uh, different uh, uh, like uh, disk management related stuff uh, the first option if you select it will do a default uh, partition layout which i don't want to do because everyone can do this one the second one is replace an existing operating system this is nothing but uh, you want to like uh, remove your previous existing operating system and uh, uh, do a installation on that one or shrink the current system you can shrink the existing partition and uh, uh, create some default layout uh, use free space See, uh, suppose your hard disk is uh, occupied with so and so partition there is no partition there is actually free space you want to install in that free space you can use this one today we are going to do a uh, custom layout so that you can select what partitions you want how much size you want all the stuff so let us start with uh, a custom layout so uh, as of now i have total uh, 8 gb of my hard disk so i'll create a default uh, layout kind of thing i'll show you like step by step like uh, here if you see we can have three types of uh, hard disk i mean uh, the partitions i can say this is a standard partition like old fashioned uh, uh, partitions this is uh, like raid partition software raid you can create a software raid partition so that it will be easy for uh, like data uh, uh, I mean uh, security wise it's uh, good LVM partition is something like you want to extend or uh, uh, shrink your partition in future you can select LVMs but I want to go with standard partition so I'll click create I'll select the first uh, as the boot uh, partition so I'll uh, go with uh, 100 because most of the time boot is just 100 uh, MB is more than sufficient and uh, I'll go with the default uh, file system there are so many file systems out there I'll go with the default one if you see the fixed size file all space up fill all sorry fill all space up to MBs or something like that you can go with the default one this is nothing but you can mention up to how much uh, uh, space you want to fill up that you can mention it here fixed to maximum allowed whatever maximum is allowed it will fill up to that point but i don't want to do any of those things i can go with fixed size and you can mention which is your primary partition and whether it is encrypted or not so that anyone who access this hard disk they cannot access until unless you logged in actually so you, I don't want to mess up any of these things. I'll keep it as a uh, default. So I'll go with okay. So if you see now it got created. It, it, the changes are on to the RAM, not onto the hard disk. So remember that one. We are not yet uh, did any changes to your hard disk. So I'll go with next. Then I'll go with uh, slash. I'll take some six uh, GB. I'll go with remaining all options as a default one so I'll go with the swap partition which is for uh, virtual memory I'll take one GB as my swap partition click OK now the uh, layout is set I have some free one GB of free spaces there but I'll keep it is for future purpose I'll say click next so it says like you are going to do the changes yeah always this type of things will come yeah write the changes so as i mentioned earlier uh, the changes what we did in that uh, gui uh, those are changed i mean uh, those changes are updated into the ram but not to onto the hard disk if you click here it will do a partition table changing if you don't want to do anything you always like uh, welcome to do go back and uh, do your partition changes and get uh, get back to here so i'll go with uh, i'm very much sure what i did so i'll go with uh, right changes to the disk so it's just uh, creating the partition table and even uh, formatting it so th this is the thing which will uh, display at the time of booting what i'll do is i'll uh, try to create as uh, uh, my name so okay I don't want to select any of these things like the uh, initial bootloader onto the video that is more uh, like precise or more uh, uh, I mean uh, the, the best option I can say because MBR will be most of the time it will be start of the hard disk so this is nothing but it will give the start of the hard disk I don't want to use bootloader password um, I'll keep it as the default one so here is where you can select uh, different type of uh, 
uh, softwares you want installed depending upon your requirement you can uh, you can install CentOS as a desktop minimal desktop or minimal so that it will not install any GUI you can install as a basic server all these things like these are like a just selection and deselection of packages that's it. depending upon those things you you will be like a, mm, going into one uh, 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 flavor I can say I'll go with the desktop and if you see this is one more important setting you have to look at uh, the thing is if you try to customize now you can see what applications what softwares you can install see if you see so many applications are there in database itself Postgre, MySQL everything is there desktop you will get uh, X Windows, KDE, Genome all those things development you can see it, uh, many things I don't want to do any like uh, changes I'll do it in future so I'll say customize later then say next now it started uh, uh, checking the package dependencies so that if you don't select some of the packages if they are depending on some uh, non-selected packages definitely it will try to install that one as well so now if you see it's just going to start the installation process what I'll do is I'll uh, 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 pause my video here uh, till it uh, completes installation we'll start once again uh, yeah yeah we almost uh, completed installation uh, it'll take a couple of uh, minutes to complete uh, before that I want to uh, like uh, uh, tell you something uh, try to install as many times as possible to make it uh, familiarize uh, with the installation process it will give you ample uh, uh, like uh, uh, easiness or some sort of like uh, uh, you'll feel really I mean, uh, very much easy when you're installing in future so see this video multiple times and uh, practice yourself take a test machine if you want to be good in Linux you should do uh, some R&D kind of work We'll wait some more time to get this installed. Meantime, you can uh, try to, I mean, uh, uh, register to our uh, YouTube channel. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as our uh, feed burner uh, so that you'll get uh, updates regularly. Yeah, it's. Uh, completing the things so it will take bit of time actually it's finalizing the things we'll wait some more time uh, we completed installing the thing uh, you can restart the machine so that all the things will be in place so it's just uh, uh, restarting your machine it's unmounting the things yeah if you see it started installing So for the first time you will see this type of forms kind of thing you can just uh, fill out the things and say I agree to the license agreement click next and create your uh, username just say forward and select the time and date 
and uh, this is for kdm because my uh, i installed on a virtual machine so i just taken uh, 8 gb of uh, hard disk uh, so kdm uh, require more uh, memory so it's saying insufficient memory for kdm you just uh, ignore that one say okay say finish that's it now you will be prompted with uh, username and password say select uh, yeah it's that much simple so we'll uh, stop this one shut on it yeah thanks for uh, visiting linuxnix.com youtube channel have a great day